welcome to school of civil engineering in this lecture we we'll learn about that how can we define different section properties i mean frame and frame properties so um, in this lecture i'll cover about uh, beam properties column properties and also slab properties and uh, I will take that data from a AutoCAD plan. So let's start. Here is our AutoCAD plan. So um, in this season, we'll design that house so from here this is the layout plan of beam column and here you are seeing that in this plan I have considered the beam size 10 inch into 18 inch and the width is 10 inch and height is 18 inch and column size I have considered every column uh, about 14 inch into 14 inch sorry it's not fit it in 14 inch it 14 inch and um, only two column b2 and c2 here from uh, layer b and two here this this column you have considered as 14 inch it 18 inch and this is also i've considered as 14 14 inch it 18 inch because um this will take load from this four slab and also this will take load from that slab that slab and also that slab and from the ester that's why i have to take uh, the bigger size of that column and here is the noticeable thing that beam are not connected to the center point of the column here uh, from that side the uh, for that beam it's uh, not in center point but uh, for that beam it's in center point so uh, when we we'll assign or when we we'll draw the column here uh, we'll face some problem here and uh, that's why I have intentionally con um, create that problem so that we can solve it easily because when um, a column is in the uh, center point in center point of column when the beam are passing or touching then uh, it's very easy to draw a column or a beam but when the uh, beam are not passing through its center point then uh, it's being some uh, difficult here so that's why I have uh, considered that point so that we can learn that point also when we draw the a stack now we'll define the beam column and slab properties so let's start after opening that e tabs just will open our existing model i mean um, in my previous video i have uh, defined about materials properties so um, i will use that for next video and also um, i will everything use from my previous video because uh, that will save my time so I'm going to open my previous video where I have said it's maybe here it apps will be removed. here other previous saved project that is our, uh, I have take that as default and next I'll change that when I'll work here and from here we have to go first of all define um in previous video I have defined materials properties here um, if you can see here 4000 psi concrete and 60 grade river we'll use that two properties now in this video 
we will define section properties first of all we will go frame and then we will delete all of that because um, when it is available here it will make some difficulties for our work so here click at default and delete multiple properties select from here and delete select and also select that how can you select first of all click on of it and go down and just unselect one because one will not delete delete here okay they have one now we'll add new properties here click new properties add new property then concrete rectangular then here we'll choose the rectangular here we'll give beam beam 10 10 into 18 maybe that is 10 into 18 10 into 18 so go ahead select your materials property so 40 psi concrete then you can um, change the color from here you can take any color from here and um, from here you have to give your the dimension of that beam so our height was 18 in and the width was 10 in and from here we have to go here property modifier will not change anything from here Here we have to go uh, reinforcement modifier. From here we will select M3 design only beam. Beam and here cover to longitudinal bar group control. So from here you can provide the value. I mean clear cover, top bar and bottom bar clear cover. Um, I'm leaving it as default and from here I will select our bar. Here we have selected 60 grade river and also 60 grade river. You have to select that, and I'm not giving here any value because we'll not use any override of reinforcement. Okay, okay, here is our 10 into 18 inch beam. We'll now select that and we'll delete that. have to define our beam and if you need a different section of beam in similar way you can define your beam by using add new properties or add um, copy of the properties so from here you can copy that properties I mean uh, the section properties from here section properties will be same and also the uh, reinforcement property will be same for beam it will be same just you have to change the dimension only here and have to change the name from here so in 2a you can add or uh, you can add re your required beam then we'll again add our column we have to add two columns so first of all add new properties rectangle section here and here what was that our column name was the column size from here our column was 10 inch into 10 inch into 10 inch sorry 14 inch to 14 inch column 14 into 14 and here depth with 14 into 14 inch and then we have to go ahead reinforcement modifier so from here we have to select p2 m3 design column and uh, from here as well we have to change our river property 60 grade river and from here suppose you want to use rectangular column you have to select them or for circular you have to select a circular and when you select circular you will get confinement confinement bar what is confinement confinement bar is the tie bar or tie I mean uh, from here or here we have to 
select that I mean it's um, also east up confinement bar is east up so we will use rectangle tie and from here you can provide the clear cover number of longitudinal bar along three drill face three five I mean uh, from here you can change as you require and here the bar num number of bar which bar you want to use here you can also select that here and confinement bar I mean um, which bar you want to use as your strap and here I'm just doing minimum six and minimum six and minimum three I'll give it three okay three then okay and here there have two point check design reinforcement to be checked or reinforcement to be designed uh, you can select that point when you have the design criteria again you have provided in or uh, I mean you have provided a you have designed a beam manually or you have pro, um, designed a column manually then you just have to take that is it sustainable or not or you have to use that so that it has can manually design that okay then okay here are column 14 into 14 again we'll just add that add new properties according to column 14 add new properties and column 14 into 8 here 14 depth depth 18 and depth 18 with 14 and no need to go here because um, as we are using the copy of previous column every data will be same as our previous column so okay okay here column have column beam have defined it click here okay again now we'll define our slab section go here for slab we can delete that add new properties from here slab slab uh, we'll use 60 inch slab 60 inch so here we'll provide first of all um slab materials from here we have to select our slab material slab materials are 40 psi concrete uh, actually 40 psi concrete it's um somewhat difficult to get that strength that's why just i'm uh, using that up because of practice not for original use uh, you have to just uh, at first you have to take that data from lab test i mean 18 days tensile uh, compressive strength then you will get that value what is your concrete value concrete is uh, compressive strength value then you have to use that here also from lab you have to calculate the river tensile strength i mean yield strength and also tensile strength and uh, here there have the modeling type modeling type what is that here first of all membrane if we use membrane it will not take or any well it will not provide any support like shear force or anything for beam and if we use shell thick it will take huge amount of shear force from beam I mean it, it will support beam and shell thin if we use shell thin it will take little bit shear but it will take so we will use shell thin when we will use shell thin it will be economic, economical and when we will use shell thick it will be not economical I mean it will use huge amount of reinforcement here so click here and you can also change the color I am not going to change that so from here our thickness is 6 inch and up from slab you have to select here which you want to take that I'm going to take slab okay okay also we can also delete that okay our uh, every properties are ready 
then uh, when our properties are ready in next video we'll define load pattern load case load combination and sorry uh, we'll define load combination in our in another video because at first we have to define load pattern load case and also um, we'll load an earthquake load then we'll define load combination here we'll add our load combination according to our country code so, uh, so that was our uh, materials I mean section properties are defined so I think uh, it is okay to you and if you think that if you have any confusion about that you can contact to me in next video I will define about load case load pattern and also win load earthquake load thank you thank you very much stay connected